What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to purchase firearms here in Canada. Now this is a requested video, that's why I decided to finally sit down and talk about it. Now here in Canada, in my opinion, the government is trying to make it more and more difficult for Canadians to go out and purchase firearms, specifically handguns. So some of the stuff I'm gonna be talking about in today's video very soon might change and they might make it very difficult for people to go and purchase certain types of firearms here in Canada. But as of right now, the only real thing that you need to do is to go and get your firearms license, which is known as your PAL. With this, you can purchase and own firearms here in Canada. Now to get your license, you must first pass the firearms safety course. There are two courses. One is the unrestricted and one is the restricted firearms safety course. Unrestricted is for things like shotguns and other firearms that are typically used for hunting. So if you plan on getting your firearms license just for hunting, then you're only going to need the unrestricted firearm safety course and get that. Now for restricted, that is for things like handguns and other restricted firearms here in Canada. If you're wanting to purchase a handgun or other restricted firearms, you must take and pass both the unrestricted and the restricted firearms safety courses. In my opinion, both courses are really easy and you don't even need to go into it with any knowledge of firearms before taking either one of the courses. The instructors are usually very thorough and anything that they explain in the uh, course, if it is going to be on the test, they're going to mention that and make sure that you are aware and you know that it is going to be on the test. Very friendly people. I had a lot of fun whenever I took the course, but there's a lot of knowledge and a lot of stuff that is given to you. Now, each course is about six to eight hours and both have a written and a practical test that must be passed to get your license. Now for the written test, it's actually really easy. Everybody usually has a different test. There's about four different tests and that just eliminates the possibility of cheating, but the written test is not difficult whatsoever. Now for the practical test, you're not actually gonna be firing any firearms. It's just going over the safety protocols for each type of weapon that you will be handling and that the instructor tells you to handle and asks you to uh, safety check it and everything else and the instructor is going to ask you other questions as well so in my opinion for both the written and the practical as long as you're paying attention during the course you should have no issues with it whatsoever if you're a little worried on the practical during the course the instructor is going to have everybody come up and handle the firearms so if you have any questions whatsoever that is the time to ask questions because whenever it's time for your test you can't ask any questions you should know it by then and it's honestly really easy to do once you have passed the courses you will mail your application photo and other forms to the rcmp in a few weeks if approved you will get your license and with that you will be able to purchase firearms here in Canada. So right now, that is how you are able to go and purchase firearms. You need to have your license and to get your license you need to pass one or both of the safety courses depending on the type of firearm that you are planning on purchasing. Now once again, I do want to mention that some of these might change and they might make it even harder for Canadians to go and purchase firearms here in Canada because Every day I'm hearing on the news or every couple of weeks, there's something new where the government just wants to restrict certain types of firearms. Right now they're trying to eliminate the purchase of handguns, except for police and military or uh, certain categories as well. You won't be able to purchase a handgun because here in Canada, you can't go and carry a firearm and walk down the street. So I guess in their opinion, they're trying to eliminate it because in their mind, there's no reason for it. But still, you should be allowed to go and purchase the firearms in my opinion. But comment down below what you guys think. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.